population proportions. Consider the example first. Here's the example to estimate population proportion. Maybe the most common example would be what is approval rating of a particular political party in the, this year's election? Or what percentage of a nation's current unemployment rate? Or what percentage of a defective product we have? This kind of thing is uh, to estimate uh, population proportion. How can you do that? I think you learned that from sampling distribution of some sample statistic, we are able to find uh, some formula to estimate uh, population the parameters. We learned that sample proportion is approximately normal. The mean is p and then the variance look like this. Uh, this imply sample proportion is an uh, unbiased estimator for population proportion. That means uh, the point estimation of uh, population proportion is nothing but sample proportion. The standard error, I mean standard deviation of uh, p hat, look like this. Interval estimation since p hat follows normal, well, p hat plus minus, let's say in case of 95%, 1.96, and this value. We can derive that, but that uh, will be discussed in the mathematical statistic. Let's just uh, consider application. Well, this example shows that there are 200 students and well, checked his approval rating and found that 120. 120 out of 20 implies 60%. They are support him. Why don't you estimate uh, the population approval rating? If it is point estimate, it's nothing but sample proportion. In case of uh, the confidence interval, it is nothing but 0.6 plus minus 1.96 and standard error. If you are using east u, you can easily calculate this. Let's try that. Click east u and then estimation of p. In this case, we have n equal 200. p head is 0.6. Then, if you keep a 95%, click Execute button, will generate this kind of confidence interval. Maybe this is the confidence interval. You can experiment there by changing sample size or confidence level. OK, we are done. Uh, estimation of a population proportion. And in the next lecture, we'll discuss how to calculate the sample size.